up anymore <laughs> did you like that one pretty good stuff for 10 a.m wait no it's 11 a.m we left Lindsay's at around 9 30. we aimed to leave around 9 but then i actually did not fall asleep last night until five o'clock in the morning which was four o'clock my time, but still violently late. And I only got like three hours of, well, three and a half hours of sleep. And I'm just surviving on coffee right now. I edited Vlogmas until 3.45 last night. And then I fell asleep just um, restlessly. So that's why I didn't fall asleep until five or some shit like that. And anyways, uh, we are on the wide open road here in Idaho, and there is a lot of piles of snow, mounds, plateaus. We've seen cows, we've seen hay and corn. We have seen lots of rain. I just saw a cornfield a little while back. Did you know that although Idaho is popular for its potatoes, it's also incredibly popular for its corn production? Little fun fact for you right there, they grow a lot of it. And um, we had a totally wicked night last night with Lindsay and Jared and we were just having a really fun time drinking Reeves and trying on wigs and honestly, I feel like Vlogmas needed that, you know what I mean? We needed that Hughes sister reunion and I uploaded the vlog early this morning at like, I don't know, as soon as I woke up and just the feedback has been so kind and cute and Everybody is so happy to see Lindsay and her surprise reaction and everything. I've never like successfully surprised Lindsay on a vlog before, let alone like ever. I don't remember the last time that I surprised Lindsay. So it was truly a thrill. I'm really happy we got to do that and that we got to meet Jared and see Mr. Squirtle and give her some early Christmas presents that she loved. She used both of them immediately. And we were listening to Grease like all night on vinyl. So it was just a perfect, perfect night. Um, but now we are driving, like I said, through Idaho and then we'll drive mostly through Wyoming and we're trying to look for places to stay tonight that are about 11 or so hours out of Boise, Idaho. So, you know, if we go 11 hours east, we end up in like Cheyenne, Wyoming and that's about like nine hours or something like that along the way, but it's the biggest city. So we're kind of looking for like, good COVID rating, clean places to stay on Airbnb. And if we can't find Airbnbs, then we will look on Hotel Tonight. And I think I'm gonna get that app from Ramon and Stefan that they used when they came up to stay with us. But there's apparently some app that gives like COVID ratings and reviews for hotels that are safe and do a good job. So I might look on something like that for us just to, you know, take all of the considerations into account. And we're gonna look for a place to stay tonight either in Wyoming or Nebraska. But until then, we're just enjoying our rainy drive and talking to each other and just the dogs are being really cute and sleepy because they were getting really just so crazy with Squirtle last night and stayed up really late with us. So yeah, anyways, this was a long intro. Just wanted to say hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. Love ya. Guys, we're outside of Twin Falls, Idaho right now. And look at this just fucking gigantic, you can barely even see because of the rain, but it's just a huge, huge canyon. Wow! Now that's what I call thrilling for your Thursday. The spring glowed brighter than usual, as if the light of the gemstones was infusing them. Like using a Fabrile did. Indeed, the gemstones would periodically crack, as also happened to Fabrile's. Well, we're crossing the border into Utah. Yeehaw! And we are 7.4 miles 
from the nearest gas station. And if you can see over there, we are completely out of gas. So we're just praying for the best. Didn't realize that we didn't have enough gas, so just hoping that we can make it there safely. We'll let you know, I'm sure. By the grace of Gord, we <laughs> made it. Miles under our gas takes limit. Yeah, 11 miles actually to be exact. We ran out of gas. And here the hell we are. Wow. Let's say it's just a Christmas miracle. <laughs> I'll take it. I literally can't believe we made it, loves. <laughs> Thank fuck for flying Jay. Also, Lindsay gave us new masks last night. She said she ordered like a big pack and they're really big on the face. Like, I really love how much it covers, you know? Finley got one too and his is gray. These are from Ten Tree, by the way. I was using this one, but honestly, I don't love using this because it may, it's, I made it myself and it's pretty small. And so like it pushes my ears and it feels uncomfortable to wear for a long time But this one's easier to wear for long periods of time. Anyways masks aside Our two fatty dogs are here. We're getting our gas filled all the way the hill up It's already filled all the way the hill up. Let's be honest and we just used the restroom and I don't know how exciting our road trip vlogs are going to be because we're not stopping to do any tourist stuff obviously because of covid and just the need to we got a need for speed we want to get there fast you know so we'll pretty much just be hanging the hell out and just listening to finley's audiobook and maybe some music and pointing out sights along the way so hope you enjoy <laughs> you should look up what what gallons our tank is because if it's 15 gallons, then we literally were like seconds away from running out. Yeah, like so fucking close. 17.2 gallons. Well, I guess we had more room to go than I thought. <laughs> or it's not as tall as it could be, but it should be enough to get us on the road. On the road again. We just can't wait to get back on the road again. You got a visitor. Oh my gosh, Larry. Larry, that's not. Me. I'm not really ready for a visitor yet, Larry. Hold on, Larry. Let's get you a little cousin. Dalinar could speak of redemption and mending broken spirits, but this creature was a fire burning unchecked. We got some good yes. old Utah yes. rock. Backward. Actually, aren't we in Wyoming now? Yes, indeed, indeed. And see, yeah. the temperature yeah. readings before a storm rise slightly I too. Think so. You wondered how much colder it was up here on the cloud walk. Larry, we officially made it to Wyoming. There's a little Christmas tree outside of this place in Little America. And I just want to say that we had another experience like the um, silver dollar place, the million silver dollar. What was it? Somewhere when we were road, when we were road tripping to Montana. It was like, the, it was like 500,000 silver or something yeah. like that. It was really weird. Or 50,000 silver. Or yeah, something. that's what it was called. Anyways, I'll link the road trip vlog when we took that, but on the way in, Finley was like, I really want to go there, like, blah, 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 that place looks cool, there's so many billboards for it, like, it has to be cool. <laughs> and then I was just napping, and I, I woke up because we were slowing down and, like, pulling off, and he goes, I'm trying to find this place called Little America. I've seen so many billboards for it. And we pull in, and it's another gas station and gift shop situation just like that, and he goes, I've been bamboozled again. <laughs> it's because they also like the same exact thing. So it's like, I don't know. I get it. I guess that's what sells on on the highway, on the side of the highway. But where are those like I don't know, quirky little roadside things? You know, I feel like I never see those, and I feel like I road trip more than most people. I don't know. Except for that one in Oregon, that weird forest thing that we went to. Oh, that, that was, was cool. awesome. Yeah, we were taking the one highway last summer, and we found this place that was like an amusement park. It was so weird and quirky. I don't even, I don't even remember the name. It was like Gravity Park or something. Mm -hmm. And it had all these like zero gravity attractions and mm -hmm. it was like in the redwoods. I was not sure it did not have any zero gravity attractions. What's the one where, <laughs> in the tilted house? I don't know what, like, 
illusions and like yeah yeah just, illusions yeah definitely not any like crazy zero gravity equipment that would be <laughs> I'd be like some NASA shit they had like a train ride you could go on and like funny those like um, fun house mirrors it was like a fun house that's what it was that's because that built that house there was a house that like Everything was like deceiving. It was like everything was an optical illusion the way it looked. Like it would look flat, but then you'd feel like you were tilted, or like you'd roll a ball down something, but it actually rolled the opposite way. Yeah, it looked, or it looked like it went up. Yeah, like it was all just illusions and stuff. Yeah. Anyways, we vlogged that when it happened. The Gravity House, that's what it was called. I think it was called Gravity Mountain, like you said. Yeah, basically. No, no, no. I think you're right that that house was called the Gravity House, but I think the whole thing was called something different. Yeah. Anyways, folks, we're still driving, still out here, getting after it. Finley is my superhero, man. Should we run around a little bit first? We just got in the car, baby. I don't want to run around now. Finley is doing a sprint around the parking lot to make sure that he keeps his metabolism up while we are <laughs> on the road trip. Anyways, I'm just filming this random truck now. I don't know where he ran off to. He said, if anybody looks at me, well, just tell him not to. How was your sprint? I'm pretty out of shape. You did it in short sleeves and everything. It's snowing outside. Hurrying to keep up. And authentication by two different orders of radiance. Okay, this one's for Lindsay. The power. Here she had another team Delicious. working. And shout out to, oh fuck, why can't I remember his name? Kyle something, I think it was Kyle. Every Tuesday night after dance class, Lindsay and I would go to Subway and there was a guy who worked there and we invited him to our recital because he would always give us free cookies or raspberry cheesecake cookie dough. Um, from Subway and I just went to Subway and I got two cookies for us so I'm gonna have a little taste test for you. Mm. Little crunchy, could be a little softer but still pretty good. Do you like it? The good life, right. Nebraska, did I get it? All right folks, it's 10 p.m. I just drove for like two hours. And now we're doing the big switcheroo. Mr. Bay the Napes has covered up his whole head. He's not exposing himself to anybody. And I was just telling Finley, like, it's kind of hard to get content on a road trip like this where we're just in the car, just driving, driving, driving. It's pretty unexciting stuff. Can you do his collar? And he said, you know, you could always do a couple combined day vlogs, but I don't know. I prefer the one day vlogs, but we'll see. We'll just see, okay? We're gonna take these Beecher bottoms out, Finley's gonna pee, and then we're gonna go to our freaking hotel for the night in Ogallala. That's literally the name, Ogallala. Unless they tell me it's something different at the hotel, then I'll update you. Larry's checking out the digs. He says, is this a dog-friendly hotel? Cause I can smell it. <laughs> um, Larry, is this a dog-friendly place to give you a smitches? Cause I could early land when I'm not snitter. <laughs> We've made it to Ogallala Travel Lodge. I thought I said in the lobby that it was like a smush of organic and locally like <laughs> is a term for like you You've been driving too long. Dude. And I was like, huh, or they're locally? <laughs> Weird thing to be advertising in a motel. And I was like, oh yeah, that's a town we're in. Well, here's our little tour. We came in, I immediately took out my external hard drive so I can export my vlog. We have a nice little bistro area to um, have our Mini coffee fridge. in the morning. Ugh. Mini fridge. Killer, no overpriced booze tonight. No overpriced anything in there. Just the real deal stuff. And here we are. I know what I'm brushing my teeth with in the morning. All right, folks, so it's now like 11 something, probably like 11.30, and I edited most of this vlog in the car, so I'm just going to end it off here, and so I can export it, upload it using their Wi-Fi here, and we can hit the road again in the morning. So I know that today was probably like, you know, just car stuff. Maybe you were just like, meh, but 
I promise you, once we get to Virginia, baby, we'll be hanging the hell out, doing lots of crazy stuff. And we're gonna blow your fucking minds, okay? Just stay tuned. We just gotta drive there first, okay? It's a little microwave, right? It is a it's tiny a little fashion. microwave. Look at how it works. Yeah, you can the change it timer. through the twist timer. Well guys, enough about the microwave. If you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to see more vlogs if you're not already. And here's my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Megan Hughes if you want to see more content from your girl, Meg. I'll see you in the morning. Stay smiling. Bye guys.